Host. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of biodegradation. Before proceeding further, if you wish to buy microbiology-related products, please refer to the link in the description below. Have you ever wondered what happens to the banana peel you tossed in the compost bin or the fallen leaves in your backyard? Well, it's all thanks to biodegradation. What is biodegradation? Biodegradation is the process by which organic materials are broken down and decomposed into simpler compounds by microorganisms such as bacteria, fungi, and other living organisms. This process is essential for recycling organic matter in nature and plays a significant role in the carbon cycle and ecosystem health. Why biodegradation is necessary? Waste management. Biodegradation helps break down organic waste, such as food scraps, yard waste, and agricultural residues, into simpler compounds. This reduces the amount of waste sent to landfills, mitigating environmental pollution and promoting sustainable waste management practices. Nutrient cycling. Biodegradation plays a crucial role in nutrient cycling within ecosystems. By decomposing organic matter, microorganisms release nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium back into the soil, where they can be utilized by plants for growth. This maintains soil fertility and supports healthy plant growth. Environmental health. Biodegradation helps prevent the accumulation of organic waste in the environment, which can lead to pollution and habitat degradation. By breaking down organic materials, biodegradation helps maintain the balance of ecosystems and promotes environmental health. Carbon sequestration. Biodegradation contributes to the natural cycling of carbon in the environment. When organic matter decomposes, carbon is released into the atmosphere as carbon dioxide, CO2. However, in healthy ecosystems, some of this carbon is also stored in the soil, helping mitigate climate change by acting as a carbon sink. Overall, biodegradation is essential for maintaining ecological balance, managing waste, and supporting the health of ecosystems. What are the requirements for biodegradation? Organic substrate. Biodegradation involves the breakdown of organic materials, such as plant matter, animal waste, food scraps, and other organic compounds. These materials serve as the substrate for microbial activity and enzymatic degradation. Microorganisms. Biodegradation relies on the presence of microorganisms, including bacteria, fungi, and other decomposers, capable of producing enzymes to break down organic compounds. Different microorganisms specialize in the degradation of specific types of organic matter. Moisture. Water is essential for microbial metabolism and enzymatic activity involved in biodegradation. Adequate moisture levels ensure the dissolution and transport of nutrients and facilitate microbial growth and activity. However, excessive moisture can also hinder biodegradation by limiting oxygen availability, anaerobic conditions. Oxygen. Many microorganisms involved in biodegradation require oxygen, aerobic conditions, to carry out the metabolic processes necessary for breaking down organic matter. Oxygen serves as the terminal electron acceptor in aerobic respiration, enabling microorganisms to extract energy from organic substrates efficiently. Temperature. Biodegradation rates are influenced by temperature, with optimal rates typically occurring within a certain temperature range depending on the microbial community and the type of organic material being degraded. Warmer temperatures generally accelerate biodegradation by increasing microbial activity and enzymatic efficiency. pH. The pH of the environment can affect microbial activity and enzyme function. Most microorganisms involved in biodegradation prefer neutral to slightly acidic conditions, although some specialized microorganisms can thrive in acidic or alkaline environments. Nutrients. Microorganisms require essential nutrients, such as nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and trace elements, for growth and metabolism. Organic materials being degraded often serve as a source of nutrients for microorganisms, but additional nutrients may be necessary to support optimal biodegradation rates in nutrient-poor environments. Time. Biodegradation is a natural process that takes time to occur. The rate of biodegradation depends on various factors, including the complexity of the organic substrate, the abundance and activity of microbial populations, and environmental conditions. Some materials may degrade rapidly, while others may take weeks, months, or even years to fully decompose. How biodegradation occurs? Biodegradation occurs through a series of biochemical processes carried out by microorganisms such as bacteria, fungi, and other decomposers. Here's a simplified overview of how biodegradation occurs. Enzymatic breakdown. Microorganisms produce enzymes that break down complex organic molecules present in organic matter into simpler compounds. These enzymes catalyze specific biochemical reactions that facilitate the breakdown of materials like carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids. Metabolic processes. 
Once the organic material is broken down into simpler compounds, microorganisms utilize these compounds as sources of energy and nutrients for their growth and reproduction. Decomposition. As microorganisms metabolize organic matter, they also produce additional enzymes and metabolic byproducts. These enzymes further break down the remaining complex molecules, while the byproducts contribute to the decomposition process. Nutrient recycling. Throughout biodegradation, essential nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and carbon are released from the organic matter and returned to the environment. These nutrients can then be taken up by plants and other organisms, contributing to the nutrient cycle within ecosystems. Environmental factors. Various environmental factors influence the rate and efficiency of biodegradation, including temperature, moisture, oxygen availability, pH, and the composition of the organic material. What will happen if biodegradation stops? If biodegradation were to stop completely, it would have significant and far-reaching consequences for both natural ecosystems and human society. Waste accumulation. Without biodegradation, organic matter, such as dead plants, animals, and other organic waste, would accumulate without being broken down. This would lead to the buildup of waste in terrestrial and aquatic environments, resulting in pollution, habitat degradation, and unpleasant living conditions. Nutrient depletion. Biodegradation plays a vital role in nutrient cycling, releasing essential elements like nitrogen, phosphorus, and carbon back into the environment. If biodegradation were to stop, these nutrients would become locked up in organic matter, leading to nutrient depletion in soils and water bodies. This could negatively impact plant growth, ecosystem productivity, and biodiversity. Health risks. Accumulated organic waste can attract pests, such as insects and rodents, and provide breeding grounds for disease causing microorganisms. Without biodegradation to break down these waste materials, there would be an increased risk of disease transmission to humans and other animals. Loss of ecosystem services. Biodegradation is essential for the functioning of ecosystems and the provision of ecosystem services, such as soil fertility, water purification, and air quality regulation. If biodegradation were to cease, these ecosystem services would be compromised, leading to disruptions in natural processes and potentially impacting human well-being. Climate change. Organic matter that is not biodegraded can release greenhouse gases, such as methane and carbon dioxide, as it decomposes anaerobically. Without biodegradation to facilitate the breakdown of organic matter, there could be an increase in greenhouse gas emissions, contributing to climate change and its associated impacts. Conclusion. Understanding and promoting biodegradation are essential for mitigating pollution, conserving natural resources, and fostering a healthier planet for current and future generations. And there you have it, the incredible process of biodegradation. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos on sustainability and environmental science. Until next time, stay green.